Okay, I'm going to feed some mice this shrimp to the fish. Look, they're all waiting for it already. I'm going to put it right in front of the circulation pump, and you'll see they're going to come for it. All right. And this is actual frozen shrimp that I defrosted. As you can see, the Moorish Idol loves mice shrimp. Keeps them healthy. The fish love it. There goes the blue tang. That's Dory. Okay, hold on. Okay. See the clownfish going for it too. The two okay. clownfish are mean. So you'll see in probably about a minute, the shrimp are probably going to all disappear because they're literally going to eat them all. It's probably at least 50, 60 shrimp in there in one little uh, half inch cube. You see there's a yellow tang getting some, the clowns. Like two clownfish on that line. Uh, they, the goby came out. Uh, the shrimp are slowly disappearing. Uh, the Morris Idol loves shrimp. He's hard to feed. He's eating a lot. How much is he eating? So what I did was I dissolved the cube of Meister shrimp. I dissolved it actually in filtered water. Then I rinsed it down one more time with filtered water. And I put it in the net and then I put it right in front of the circulation pump so uh, it blows the shrimp around. Uh, so look, actually, the fish actually think they're live shrimp. And as you can see on the side here, the coral banded shrimp even eat shrimp. So he's out there. It's hard for him because he tries to catch it out of the water. So he's going back underneath now. So a lot of times he has trouble eating because he can't find, uh, he can't get to the food because the fish are going after it. So it looks like for the most part, most of the shrimp are about all eaten. And if any, any of them got stuck in the rock, uh, they will find it or the crabs will pick it up. You don't have